All Christian songs sound the same. That's the cliche. We've all heard it before, right? But stereotypes come about for a reason. If you're a cynic, you might say that contemporary Christian music is an industry, and it finds what works, and it rinses and repeats. If you're more positive, you might say these songs are written in simple ways, so that churches of all different kinds can sing them. But there can be a problem. If every song sounds the same every time, then the musicians could get bored, or worse, your congregation could get bored. We're singing about the best news ever, the good news of Jesus. We really don't want to bore people. There's another reason we don't want every song to sound the same. If you're playing the same song but in different circumstances, then it should sound different, right? If you're teaching a song for the first time to people who don't know it, it should sound different to if you're singing it on Sunday after something dreadful has happened in your church family. If you were to sing the same song on Good Friday and Easter Sunday, surely the way it should sound would be different. Or think about a church service that is aimed at youth and one that's aimed at guests. You might play the same song but in different ways at those two services. So our songs shouldn't always sound the same. Wow, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> so our song shouldn't always sound the same, and I'm not sure the way that we're playing is helping that. So what things can we change to make a song sound different? We're gonna take this familiar song, change a few things, and make it sound fresh. First thing you can do is change the chords. Have a listen to these two examples of this well-known song. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. In Christ alone, my hope is found He is my light, my strength, my song You can see by changing the chords, it can change the feel of the song. But it doesn't have to be that drastic. You could just change a one chord for a six chord, or maybe a four chord for a two chord, and it will change the feel of that moment. Another simple thing you could do is like a pedal chord. Play the same chord for the first half of a verse or the whole of a verse to really build some tension and then release that tension when you go back to the normal chords. Another thing you could change is change the introduction or the link in the song. Have a listen again. By changing something simple like that, you can get people's attention and steer them away from boredom. One of the biggest things that can change the feel of a song is changing the groove of the song. Again, have a listen to these two different examples. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm through the fiercest drought and storm. And this obviously needs to be done with care, because changing the groove is like changing the foundations. It's fundamental to the song. Another easy but effective change to make is repeating something. Another easy but effective change to make is repeating something, like a verse or a chorus or a bridge. I'm sure you've done that before. But how about getting more creative with it and just repeating a line or a phrase, something that you want people to remember. Again, have a listen to this example. And as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, as he stands in victory Since curse has lost its grip on me For I am his and he is mine Bought with the precious blood of Christ Just repeat a line or a phrase that you want people to remember. I have to use a different song for this next example. Have a listen to see if you can hear what I've changed here. Waking or sleeping, thy presence, my life. Be thou my vision. We went from 3 4 to 4 4, and it changed the feel of the song. You can only really do that if the song is in public domain. So you can change the time signature of some songs, but you could also do a key change. I'm sure you've done this before. Have a listen with Be Thou My Vision again. My King of Heaven, my treasure thou art. My King of Heaven. By doing that simple key change in the last verse, it gives it that lift. Or how about this one? Say you're playing a song and then you add in a tag or a bridge from a different song. This isn't a good example, but let's see if we can put Be Thou My Vision into In Christ Alone. For I am his and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. Be thou my vision, O Lord of 
my heart. I think this is going to work best if the bit that you add in is simple and fits thematically with the song that you're singing. It's important to remember this isn't just a free-for-all. You can't just change anything. So you can't change the words or the melody to a song or anything that's going to break copyright law. So there's a few ideas of things you can change to make a song sound different. And that's on top of all the other arrangement tips that I'm sure you already do. Things like playing with dynamics and not always feeling like you have to play. Do you play for one verse but not the next verse, for example? Essentially, it's thinking like a producer and listening back to recordings of yourself can be really helpful for that. Here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying you have to change something every single time. There are advantages to playing the same song in the same way. You know, familiarity can really help people sing. In fact, there's a C.S. Lewis quote about that. Where is it? Let me go find it. Is it even a Liam Chilton video? There's no C.S. Lewis quote in it. In Letters to Markham, C.S. Lewis says, A good shoe is a shoe you don't notice. The perfect church service would be one we were almost unaware of. Our attention would have been on God. But every novelty prevents this. It fixes our attention on the service itself. And thinking about worship is a different thing from worshipping. So why bother arranging songs anyway? Why put all this effort in? Well, Colossians 3.16 says that as we sing, we let the message of Christ dwell in us richly. We want to use our music to drive home the gospel message. You know, music has a profound effect on us. There's a difference between singing and speaking. It's obvious, but music helps us remember the words that we're singing. So perhaps we want to emphasize different words. So we might use the music differently to do that. And music brings out our emotions. So the kind of music that we use with the song can change the emotional effect of it. And it's important to remember that singing is corporate. We should arrange for the people in front of us. We shouldn't just blindly do the song in the same way or arrange it just for us. We should be thinking about the people in front of us. And actually, I think all this gives us a good freedom. We don't have to play exactly what's written on the page in front of us or exactly what we've heard on the recording. We can arrange things differently because there's different people standing in front of us. If at your church all the music sounds the same and you're bored, then you might want to watch this video next. But if you're a musician, hopefully this video has given you something to think about.